Hello everyone and in this video we will be creating a span volume. Now a span volume is a dynamic volume consisting of disk space on more than one physical disk. So one of the advantages that we have span volume is that if I create say a volume from disk 1 and disk 2 and it fills up and I do require more space so simply what I can do is add another disk and say disk 3 and use its space if it fills up I can add another disk disk 4 till 32 disks so it's quite useful in in the matter of space so you're not worried about filling up one disk and then what are you going to do and whereas uh, a disadvantage of a span volume is that say you create a disk f combining disk 1 and disk 2 and if disk 2 was to fail the whole of the volume fails so well that's what span volume is so let's create a span volume so for this exercise I have attached two disks to my system both of them are 1 GB each and I have given a partition table to them so if you see it says disk 1 is a basic disk and disk 2 is a basic disk to create a span volume I will have to convert both of them into dynamic disks so to convert them to dynamic disk I can just do a right click and it says you convert to dynamic disk now it give, it's asking me what else disk do I want to convert to dynamic disk so I'll clicking disk 1 and disk 2 that's disk 1 and disk 2 and I'll do ok and you can see they've been convert, uh, conf uh, converted to dynamic disk both of them so now if I do a right click and it says create a new span volume and I'll do next from here now so okay, how much uh, disk space uh, how much uh, volume space do I want so if you see here total volume is 1021 MB and the amount I want I can select from here I'll do 100 now if you notice the next button option is not highlighted uh, as I said I require minimum two disks to create a span volume so I'll use the disk 2 that's available and do add here go on disk 2 and I can take 100 MB from here and next now it's asking me assign a letter and I can give it any letter that I wish I'll just give it A and now here it's asking me that what uh, which, which file system do I want it formatted with and I'll use NTFS and do next and next you can see a span volume has been created and you can see that by the color you can see it says span volume now let's go to my computer to check is my volume available uh, with this system and you can see I've got a new volume A that's 199 MB it's taken 100 MB from here, 100 MB from here. So, if I, now let's try to extend the volume. I can extend it by if I go on the volume, whichever disk I want, I can go on disk 1. I'll do a right click and extend the volume to next. And I can give it, say, 50. Do next, finish. You can see it says 150. And if I go on my file size, it's not updated. Just close it and open it again. And you can see it shows me 249 MB, so that 50 MB was added to my disk. Sorry, to my volume. Uh, go back to my disk management. Now if I want I can shrink the volume also and by sh to shrink I'll just go on the disk I want I can do shrink volume and I can shrink it I can give it 40 and you can see I'm left with 110 MB from 150 to 110 40 MB I shrank the volume other options I would have is I can change the drive letter 
I can format it, I can delete it, and I can go in properties. Now the properties gives me all the advanced options that I want to see. You can see it's telling me the use space and it's telling me the free space available on my drive A. I've got tools such as optimizing it, backing up, hardware, sharing, window copy, uh, shadow copies. So, uh, so well, guys, that was creating a span volume. Thanks for watching.